Hey everyone, I'm Rosh Afi and I'm going to make a giant salad. So I've already cut up some of the greens. These are the greens from Diamond Greens. Um, there is the Baby Bayam. There is uh, the Kangkong. There is Brazilian Spinach. There is also Roselle, the red ones. And then um, I'm going to put in more stuff on top of it. And I'm also going to make a chili lime dressing. I haven't, uh, I haven't tried that before. Um, it's from actually Nate's um, ebook dude book, which was from the very first Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle, which I bought, which I wasn't in yet. The second one I'm in, and um, so um, if you wanna, if you miss the bundle, make sure you sign up for my free e newsletter so you can know when the next bundle is coming up next year in 2020. Um, oh, I also made um, some of these. This eggplant bacon which is really, really nice. So um, yeah, uh, let's quickly make the dressing. I'm going to do this overhead so you can actually see what's going on. Um, I've made some adaptations as well based on what I have. Yeah. All right, so let me see. We move and then we flip and then we go here. And then we turn on the lights. Okay. Ah. All right. Uh, is this okay? Oh. All right. So there are some dates. I'm gonna just do this in my thermal mix. And um, I didn't clean the thermal mix earlier just because, you know. It's all raw food, it's all the same. So, and I'm just making it for myself. So there's water and dates, which I have pitted. Um, yeah, I found my jewel dates, actually. Um, and then I have, ah, there was some calamansi lime as well from um, Diamond Greens as well. And then um, I juice that. And then I popped in some of the roselle so that I also get some of the um, sour flavor. Uh, original recipe is asking for a whole um, jalapeno. I don't have a jalapeno, so I'm putting in my Thai chili that is fermented. Original recipe also asks for peppercorns, but I'm putting in some papaya seeds instead. So that's going in. So yeah, as you can see, I have changed it up a bit. Alright, and then... Putting in some ginger. This is the bintong ginger. Again, thanks to Diamond Greens for sending this through. Um, again, original recipe is asking for... Um, asking for... Uh, apple cider vinegar. I'm not using apple cider vinegar today because I ferment my... Um, a lot of my veggies. So I fermented my belimbing bulo. So I'm just going to use this instead. Yeah, let's see how much we need. And then one tablespoon miso paste. So yeah, I have my organic unpasteurized shiro miso. So get the unpasteurized one so that you can make sure it's living foods. This one is um, just check to make sure it's vegan. So it says organic rice water, organic soybean, sea salt, and koji spores only. So vegan, make sure there's no bonito flakes. Yeah, so... Miso paste going in. Actually, next time I should um, I should put some of the. Um, they use miso because they don't want to use salt. Um, I actually wanted to put my. Next time I'll put my um, what is it uh? soy sauce, my mu soy sauce, my favorite soy sauce in. Actually, I should use the Vitamix is better for making um, dressings, but since I already had, I used my thermal mix for the bread. I thought like, ah, uh, I don't really want to wash some more stuff, so I'll just put it in here. So it might not blend up so well, but it's okay. I'm just going to eat everything anyway. Um, three tablespoons of tahini. Okay, I, I have run out of my tahini. So I am going, hello Vilintan. I'm going to be using um, Healthy Sue's almond butter. This is heated on low heat. Um, 
I don't know how low, but it's low. She confirmed it's low because high heat can be carcinogenic. Um, so technically, this part is not raw just because I didn't have tahini, but you know, I'm gonna use this. Ooh. I think I will use this end of the spoon because, yeah. I'm wondering like how much I want to put in. Maybe I'll just put one tablespoon. One and a half. I don't know. Yeah. Mm, one and a half, I think. Yeah. They did ask for three though. <laughs> I'll use one and a half. Uh, okay. We do this. This goes in first. Okay. The water you can add in as little, I mean like, not as little, as much as needed. So, I put in three quarter cups of water for now. Okay. Yeah, I think if you put more, it'll be creamier, but... Um, yeah, I don't have tahini. No, it'll be really nice and creamy, actually. Um, I, I'm not putting garlic, I'm not putting in the ancho chili powder, uh, ah, okay, so I think we have everything in. Lime, um, lighter fermented miso, da, 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 da. okay, yeah, let me blend this up. so beautiful the dressing the color is beautiful as well mm. Mm. yum 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 okay this is really good okay let's assemble it i have some other other cool stuff as well to put in um i have my micro beans i have my wakame let me put in my wakame first um yeah so I always put in some seaweed to get, you know, the iodine and the minerals. And wakame is so easy, you just need to soak it. And then, um, you just need to soak it. <laughs> and then drain it, that's it. Okay, hold on, let me just turn on to see if anybody is asking any questions. Um, any questions? No, Asama is saying hello. Okay, that's all. No questions. Cool. All right. Um, I'm going to put in some moringa leaves as well. Again, from Diamond Greens. So. And then I'm going to put in some uh, mulberries as well. Yeah. You know what? I'll put in. And again, these mulberries are from Diamond Greens. So cool, right? Um, I have my sprouts. I'm wondering whether when to put in the sprouts. Okay, so I sprouted my mung beans. Is this mung beans? Yeah, mung beans. So I've been sprouting daily because these are uh, sprouts are like living foods, you know. So, um, in the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle, there's a whole thing on sprouting. I keep saying I want to do a video on sprouting. I haven't done it yet. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sprouts go in. And then um, 
I have some green papaya kimchi as well. Hello, Siva Kumarsi. So, um, let's put some of that in. I like to pull a lot of my ferments in. Yeah. Um, this is from the ebook Savory Tropical Treats and Savory Eats. Um, I also have my, uh, this is my red cabbage sauerkraut. I think the recipe is in one of my is one in one of my courses i can't remember which one the burger one maybe yeah okay and then um they have the bacon but you know what uh is there anything else okay we'll put in the microgreens so that's the sunflower microgreens a big thank you to Happy Grow for um, sending these microgreens through to me. I'm putting in some broccoli microgreens. And then these are the Sango Radish microgreens. And then there is the red. Um, it's a radish thing as well, a red, but I can't remember what it's called. Read, read something. <laughs> I will put it in the description later when I have time. Yeah. Ooh, nice. And then, um, we're also going to put the bacon. I want to put the, I think I put the dressing first. And then I'll put the bacon. Right. Okay, I obviously will put more dressing later, but I want to take a picture, so I don't want the dressing to cover it all up. So that's that. And then I want to put the bacon bits on top because this is eggplant bacon, of course. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, it's it's raw vegan, so it's eggplant bacon. Um, I should break it up, but... Yeah, I should break it up. But it was so nice that, as in one piece right yeah Also have some um, beet kvass, some beet. So let me do that as well. Ah. Okay, this is gonna be like a super yummy giant salad with all these flavors coming along and the lovely dressing. So that's it. Um, Lois, I see you again. <laughs> yeah, today is Sunday. So yeah, there you go. That's my giant salad and the super yummy dressing. Um, yeah. So thanks so much for watching. Um, remember to sign up for my e-newsletter for more cool stuff and um, on tips, tricks, recipes, exclusive videos, special offers, and I'll see you another time soon. Alright, bye! Take care, have a great weekend! Ding ding!